Hello everyone and welcome to today's video, the unboxing and painting tutorial for the Stap Riders expansion for Star Wars Legion. Alright, so we've got our plastic clear flight stands, our large bases, and the one sprue with the bikes and the troops on it our unit cards and tokens and finally our assembly instructions so the step riders are two units to a squad rolling white defense dice and three black attack dice two command control array upgrade cards HQ uplink and a link targeting array. Now we're going to start assembling the models. You'll need your clippers and a hobby knife and some plastic glue for these steps. I'll also be using a little bit of blue tack to dry fit and make sure everything fits. So take your clippers and carefully remove everything off the sprue. Now be careful not to pinch too close to the model as clippers will squish the plastic. Next, we take our hobby knife and just clear up any flash or mold lines left on the model. Now, these models are really nice and clean, no mold lines that I could really see. Next is our plastic glue. Now, if you want to get that nice, strong bond, make sure you do hold it there and let the plastic glue set. Um, just be careful not to get it on any of the flat surfaces as it will melt the plastic. Next, we complete the same steps with the trooper from the bottom of the sprue. Now make sure you dry fit this part to ensure that the arms match up with the hands on the handlebars. Um, if you don't get it right the first time, that's okay. You can just go and bend the arms later. I changed this pose up by later kit bashing in a gun from one of my other B1 squads. Now it's time to base coat the models. Using Chaos Black for the bike and bases and Wraithbone for the troops. The Geonosis style base. So I make sure I coat the base first with Mephisto and Red. I keep my droids super simple with a little bit of contrast skeleton horde over wraith bone. Now just make sure the contrast doesn't pull on any of the flat surfaces. And if you go too dark and you want to edge highlight it later with wraith bone again, a little bit of dry brush pointing down works well. Next, I'm going to paint the black of the gun using Chaos Black and the yellow on the unit leader with Avalanche Sunset. Don't forget to go back and paint the parts of the bike on his feet and the hands on the handlebars of the bike. I've used the skeleton horde again to just go back into the recesses over the yellow to give it a bit of depth. Next edge highlighting the gun with Eshin Grey. Moving on to the bike, I've used Lead Belcher Metallic Silver to dry brush the underneath of the bike, the handlebars and the weapons. I'm using Mornfang Brown for the panels on my bike, shading in the recesses with Agrax Earth Shade and then edge highlighting with Steel Legion Drab. Now, whilst we wait for the bike to dry, we're gonna move on to the bases. Now, what I've done is I've used plastic glue to stick the flight stand to the base, but you'll see that the plastic glue will actually melt the red. So I need to go back and touch up the red around the base of the flight stand. Once this is dry, it's time to apply the Martian Iron Earth technical paint. I find this works best in big, thick blobs, and then you go back and use a toothpick to cut out the firing arc lines. Our 
as I mentioned earlier, you might need to just bend your arms to make sure that they connect with the hands at the right spot on the handlebars. Then once that's done using your plastic glue, not too much so that you don't melt your plastic. The technical paint needs about an hour to dry, but I wanted to get through this step, so I'm just using a hairdryer here to dry the last of the paint. Lastly, sealing the model with a clear matte varnish. Make sure you use masking tape or something so that you don't frost the plastic flight stands. Getting the bike to stick to the plastic flight stand was actually the hardest part of the assembly. Make sure you hold it there for quite a while so that that plastic glue really gets a strong bond. Alternatively, you could use super glue. And that's the finished product. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Take care.